What's good, everyone? This is Deanna Kempel, your host of Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. I am so excited. I have a, um, an awesome, talented Chicago local artist. Her name is Roya, Car- Roya Karbash. I don't know. If, yep. Did I say that right? All right. I'm going to have her introduce herself, give us a little bit of, about her background, and have her share a little bit more about her, her art process and what she's got going on. I actually love her art. I have a piece already, and I can't wait to get another one. You said you have one day for me, right? All right. Yeah, of course. Okay. Roya, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everybody about, about your background and, and all that good stuff? Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I'm uh, originally from Iran. Uh, I born over there and I moved to USA like uh, three years ago. So I'm pretty new here. <laughs> but uh, uh, I uh, have uh, my master's degree from art, so uh, special research at art. So I do uh, almost like uh, 15 years. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm painting. I'm still painting and I love painting. And uh, it happened to me because my mom used to paint. So when she's painting, I was like, oh, sure. I love it. So I copy my mom and like every day, I just do whatever my mom do. You know, it, it was like, a, I, I, I was so interested to painting like sure. every day. It was mm-hmm. my, yeah, I'm a, it was my concert. So when I grew up, I decided to go to university and study art as a bachelor degree but that time in my country was so bad situation for artists it wasn't you know for artists it was like a, it wasn't freedom for them sure. so i decided to study chemistry really? <laughs> so yeah so i i went to the university i studied chemistry but it wasn't me yeah. i was like a, oh so like no a polar opposite it's two different things i know right so I had my own gallery that time, okay. so I was teaching students art, but I studied chemistry at university. It was just two different worlds for me. So after I got my bachelor degree, I said, "Oh, I'm done." Yeah. <laughs> so I wanna, I wanna go to uh, study art, whatever it is in my country. They don't accept, you know, the artists. I mean, this is hard situation. Yeah, especially- I think it's hard. I think it's hard, like, to be an artist. Period. Because you know that that's there's that the term starving artist comes from somewhere. But I mean, I personally, I love I love artists because I'm a little bit of I'm a one in a different way. So, but right. I mean, it, it's I, I think that it's kind of in, until you get a, your name well known, it's I think it's hard. Is I mean, is it yeah. hard for you? Exactly. It was hard. Yeah, it was hard for me because. Uh, I studied chemistry, so I was far away from, you know, the yeah. club was artists, everything. Yeah. So I decided uh, for master, I tried, I changed my field and I studied for six months. Then I, I got successful and I went to art university. I love it. So yeah, I studied art as a researcher over there. It was wonderful years. I mean, that time was, I mean, I think it's a, it was a perfect moment for me because it was like, a, I saw a lot of things inside sure. the, the art world. I mean, it was so huge, a lot of things about, uh, it, it wasn't just about painting, it was anything. I mean, like sure. a movie, music, philosophy, everything. So, oh, I did great. So after that, I tried to build my, I mean, um, my um, your brand field. yeah my brand a little up in my city so I start to doing more as a professional artist I try it I try so hard like uh, two years and I did great so to, uh, like uh, for three years uh, my paintings went to museum so wow yeah I was so oh my god I did it. yeah I was so excited so oh, see bachelor degree of like a chemistry can be successful in art too and <laughs> they accept me as a new artist in my city I was like oh that is amazing go. okay yeah so I try to do more and more and that time something happened and changed my life I mean I was going to do a more about my art to capital of my country uh-huh. but the destiny brought me here to USA. I mean, I married with somebody 
uh, he was from the USA. So I came here as a married woman. And then that time, the marriage wasn't successful. Oh, my God. It was a very bad, bad experience oh, of I'm marriage sorry. life. Yeah, it was, he was abused. He broke me You're down. So beautiful. Oh, my God. I know, but, oh my, I know, but it happened to me. It's, it's, it's a true story. And I was like, a, I'm inside the bubble. Yes. Nobody, nobody can hear me or I can I cannot hear anybody. So it was a so hard situation for me that time. So for six months, I wasn't able to breathe. Yeah. So before my painting was always, I mean, all, most of my painting was about a woman or sure. about a society, the, the problem women have it in Iran. Over there, as a woman, it's very hard. Yes. I mean, it's not a very free country. Right. They, they, they push people, especially women, to cover hair, don't show your body. So... I wouldn't make it there at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. As an artist, it was so hard for me because I wasn't able to show anything, yeah. you know? So I used, uh, I used to paint a uh, man model. So when oh, I yeah. came yeah. so it was hard because I'm not a man. Sure. <laughs> so I want to show myself inside my painting. But it was hard for me that time. When I came here and bad experience happened to me, a I just tell myself that Cedroya is a free country. You can just draw whatever you want, paint yeah. whatever you want, and show a woman like you can be a strong. So, yes. you know, yes, uh, in I my love it. <laughs> yeah, in my country, I was rich. I was from a good family, good education, everything. I had everything over there. But here, after that bad experience happened to me, I didn't have anything. I was poor. Yeah. I, I don't have any family here. I was alone. Just some of friends, they helped me that time. Sure. I'm so thankful about them. Yeah. So I try alone. I mean, by myself. I, I said, okay, Roya, this is, <laughs> this is your time. If you want to go to depression way, go. But it doesn't. That doesn't do solve it. anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. You cannot do anything. So it was my dream to show the people, oh, what is the problem women have, it, especially like me from my country, I abused here as like an Iranian woman. Like my ex-husband always asks me, why you are here? You are, I hate Iranian women. Or oh, why are you mad at me, you know? Yeah. So I was like shocked. I didn't know it's going to happen to me, but it happened. Yeah. So I tried to show all my experience with my painting because in my culture, uh, it's hard to accept, you know, tell people what happened to you. Yeah. So, no, oh, I had a bad situation. So I wasn't able to talk to anybody right now. Oh, I'm that's so terrible. Brave. <laughs> right. That's terrible. I'm not, right. But you know so what, I though? Like, You're not alone. There's a lot of women out there that are being abused. So it's important for you to, to be that spokesperson when you're, when you're telling your story to tell people how you got out of it. And, right. and look at look at where you are today. I mean, you you like you're beautiful. You've got such a great That's smile, amazing. great energy. And so, <laughs> if anybody's listening that is being in an abusive relationship, there are resources for you. And she's a prime example of you can get out of it. You're not stuck. Of course, there are ways out of it. Right. Of course. Yeah. It all depends what you achieve and what goal do you have. Yes. So I define myself. Roya is not you. You are here, okay. You are right now. You are in a free country. You are not in your country anymore. So, why you should be upset about that thing? That yeah. happened, okay. All right, show your story. But I cannot tell, you know, the people what happened to me, especially to, to my country. I mean, it's hard. They're judgmental people. So I try to do it with my painting. So I start with the lines lines in my painting show all my bad experience about it like i'm i'm so i mean sad i'm so i i mean like a, oh so i don't know strong feeling about the, what happened to me you know all all depression i mean feeling yeah. i try to bring it out sure so yeah so i did it then after a while 
I uh, hard very I work very hard. I mean, I working every day. <laughs> also weekend too. Yeah. So I made my life here. Nobody helped me. Just it was me and oh yeah, love free it. country. I love <laughs> yeah. It. So I started step by step teaching at school, teaching at gallery, and find myself here again. It was so hard, you know, I, I bet. to be in a new country. It's a different language. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to be good. I mean, yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine. Like, I know other people that have come here from other countries and didn't know anybody and like speaking a different language and just come here by yourself. Like, that is so brave. And it's a testament to to how strong you are and what people are truly capable of when they set their mind to something. Right. It should be, you should be very strong, really. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you you know you empty inside yes. you, somebody must help you but isn't there is not anybody to help you it's just you and yourself okay yeah just give your head and <laughs> stand up and do whatever you have to do you know yeah so i tried to do and one of the reason i'm painting right now very i try to be more professional here and try to show I mean, all experience about my immigration and also my bad experience about marriage life. I want to show it inside my painting. So I try to give a concept to my painting, like uh, how a woman can be a strong, emotional, and I mean, like a lovely woman and how they can be strong too. I mean, like, it's like you, you n- never know what happened to this yeah. woman. Like everybody saw my picture oh, she's a happy girl <laughs> she didn't have any I mean bad situation or bad things but I did I have I had a lot of things you know yeah. I saw a lot of bad things like how uh, long so how so you were when you got back when you moved here from uh, Iran and when you were married how long were you married to him for are, you still, like, mar- are you still married to him no I got divorced like it Six months we okay. lived together. Just yeah, it was it was he was so abused. He was crazy. He didn't, yeah, he beat me. I was like, <gasps> how how can be you know? Where's he at? I'm gonna go shocked. kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm right, strong. <laughs> uh, right, I did it actually. I got protection order, and I just said, oh come go go far away from Good. me. Yeah. And I was shocked, you know, I never thought in the U.S. they can be like this behavior. I can't see like this behavior. I was shocked. Oh, what? Oh, what? Where I am going, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, especially me. I am from a family. They are so calm, friendly. Yeah. Never bad things happen between the family. I was shocked. I was really shocked. And and I wasn't able to back to my country, too, because mm-hmm. as a divorced woman, oh, my God, you have a lot of very hard situation over there. Sure. Yeah, over there is like a traditional culture and they judge people. So I try to stay here without any money. <laughs> just build, just try to build, building, you know, my, my life here. So I think you're doing a good job. So we met at a networking event and you had some beautiful paintings and I actually bought one. Um, and mm-hmm. I like, and that's how we connected. And I, so, I mean, I think you're doing a great job. I mean, so do you have paintings in a gallery here now? Yes, I do. <laughs> Where can people find your paintings? Oh, the gallery, uh, it's like a bottle and butcher guy. It's a small gallery that I painting over there, I'm teaching painting over there too. Okay. But in the future, I will, I will do it. I mean, like a professional gallery, I will do it and I'll let you know. But right now it's just, <laughs> just a busyness gallery, yeah. But they can, but people that are watching can uh, can see you on Instagram at Roya K Art. Yeah, and, they can. And if they wanted to buy something from you, can they reach out to you directly to to purchase a painting? Yes, yeah, they can. Yeah, do, sure. do you do do you, like if somebody wanted to commission you to paint something, would you do that as well? Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, I just want to let them know we want to promote you. You <laughs> your fabulousness. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I loved what you said in your, in your bio here, um, that you were inspired by your mother's strength and you definitely, um, are resonating that today in your life. So if you had not 
learn that from your mother, you would not have been strong enough to get through all these things that you've been through and just develop such an incredible life for yourself here. I'm glad I met you. I think you're oh, just like, you. you're just like a beautiful, like just energy. And I was like, Oh, I, I've got to get her <laughs> on my show. So oh. <laughs> you're doing a good job. I've been in an abusive relationship too. I had several boyfriends actually that were abusive to me and that beat me when oh. I was younger. Um, when I was married, my husband was more emotionally abusive, you know, mm -hmm. and then when he passed away, I lo almost lost everything and I had to start over with, from scratch. So I know, I know what it's like to start with nothing and having mm -hmm. to rebuild your life. So that takes a special kind of, a special kind of inner strength to do that and to actually come out on the other side, smiling and thriving and deciding to be a better version of yourself instead of letting it be the other way and letting the world beat you down. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. So I said, oh, I cannot just sit down and be I mean, sad about my, th that happened to me. I should yeah. do something. I should give it, I mean, hope, hope, hope. I mean, like a more energy to women. Yes. Something happened to you, it doesn't matter. Yes. You important than everything. You should just make your life better. So right now, if somebody saw me here, say, "Oh, what happened to Ruya?" I mean, just three years, Ruya is here, and she's trying to do more, more, more. It's like I, I because I don't want it to give up. I wanted to build more. I wanted to show people if something bad happened to me, it's okay. Yeah. It's not matter. I'm more than this. Yes. Something like a little thing is like this bad experience never can. <laughs> so, I don't know, give me out <laughs> from my life. I mean, my way. My way is pity. I wanted yeah. to pay. I really want to get, I mean, friends or <laughs> be successful in a painting. So, you're on your way there for sure. Oh, I actually, have, I had a girlfriend I, that she, she's into art and I think that when this is over, she's going to want to see your work because I told her about you and she's like, can you ask her how that, how like she will look at the world with her art after this is over the whole, um, the whole quarantine thing. So I don't know if that, so do you, is this quarantine moving you to paint differently or how is it making you look at, look at the world? Uh, yes, of course. L like uh, right now, uh, everything affects me. I mean, everything can give me an idea. Like uh, in my immigration, my, I mean, bad experience. Oh, even, even look at every woman's life, I can get, get an idea. Oh, I should show this one. I should paint this one. Yeah. So right now, it's very hard situation for everybody to stay at home and keep them safe, I mean, healthy. All we are worried about the bad new things. I mean, we always hear bad new yeah. <laughs> news about, the, oh my God, what's going on around us? What's going to happen? So it affected my painting too. Right now, I have a new collection. Oh. I try to yeah show this affection too. I mean, try to show how the little things I mean, it's, it's no matter what is it, little things can just change your way. Like I have a lot of plans that I'm supposed to I do it right now, you know, this sure. month or for next month. But right now, all of them is fun. I cannot do anything because we have to stay at home like you and, and other people too. So it's like, a, I think I'm not just a painting, a regular thing. I'm painting all society i mean like everything about society or world or health or emotional or everything so i can your your paintings i feel are definitely very emotional like i i yeah. that's what i saw that's what i connected with when i saw your work at uh it was clutch bar i believe and i was just like ooh, like that big one i really wanted to buy it but i just couldn't afford it at the time one day <laughs> one day i'll be able to I, was, I, I sure. just, yeah i mean i just feel like you're I definitely see the emotion in your work, definitely. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So is there any, so do you have a website? Uh, no, I know. Uh, I not have yet? to make it. Okay. <laughs> not yet. So yeah, I'm going to make it. I mean, is it one of my plans going to be like a, in a one month? I'm going to have it. Okay, good. Do you, are, are you on Facebook as well? 
Yes, I'm on a Facebook. So how can people find you on Facebook? Do you have a, a, a page for your for your paintings or just you personally? It's a, for both. I mean, okay. I don't have any personal things. It's all about my art because, okay. yeah, I, ha I don't have anything to share about myself. It's all about my art of painting. So, yeah. You it's are art. Under my name. Oh, <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, my Facebook is the same. It's a Roya, R-O-Y-K. K R. So my Instagram is Roya uh, K R Art. So okay. it's the same name. Same on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. All right. So thank you for joining me. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our with our audience today? No. Uh, just yeah. Always be happy and try your best and never give up. And life is beautiful <laughs> just try it's to bad. open your eye yeah Woo, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> just open your eyes and see more things like a love and happiness and the, i mean colorful life <laughs> yes. i think that is definitely a choice you know you have a choice to look at things and what the good that's in it or you can look at the bad you know and it's always it's like how you program your brain and how you want to interpret life because it's a fine line, right? You know, one, because we could start our day off great and something can push us over and we look at everything terribly, or you can just get over that and keep moving forward. I mean, really, that's all you can do is keep moving right. forward, you know, and right. just try to be thankful every day for what you have and where you're going and just, you know, I love that. Yes. Focus yeah. on love <laughs> and good things. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you so much for being my guest today. You're welcome. We'll have Thank to, you. We'll have to do a sequel, like, you know, after you get your next collection and maybe you can show some pieces next time or, or if of you, course. yes, I would love that. Cause I know I, I want, I need another piece from you, but <laughs> sure. all right, Thank you guys. You. Thank you. Thank you. This is Deanna Kempel, your host of label free podcast to live your best life. You must live label free. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment and stay tuned for our next episode. And we, we will see you soon.